Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at Zion Molus X100 COB Lite. Zion is mostly known for high quality gimbals but they have already released a number of successful lights. The main purpose of the X100 is to offer the performance of high quality COB light in a very compact package that is easy and convenient to use. In this video we will take a look at the performance and the feature set of this light. Before we start, I have to say that I have some experience with lights, but I am not the biggest expert in this area, so this will mostly be a user review. As the name suggests, this is a 100 watt COB light. COB or chip on board means that it uses concentrated LEDs that emit a uniform light. It offers variable color temperatures and dimming options. This is a very versatile type of light, useful for both photography and filmmaking. Probably the biggest highlight of this light is the size or size to performance ratio. The main unit is just 13.5 cm wide and it weighs 385 grams, which is quite remarkable for what it can do. The outer construction is mostly plastic, but I can still say that it feels quite premium. It is a light, but I think that it looks great. I like the translucent design, which is very popular nowadays, and the attention to detail. Most of the space is taken by the cooling system, which allows it to be so small. You can get the X100 in three packages. Standard, Combo and Pro. The Pro package that I have here comes with a very nice travel case. Besides the main unit, you will also get a mini reflector, 120W power adapter, grip battery, a strap for carrying the light on the go, and a Bowens mount adapter. We will get to that later. That is what you will get in a combo package. The Pro package adds a Zion Mini softbox, which brings us to the ZY mount. Besides this light, Zion is basically introducing a whole new lighting system based around the ZY mount. This is a small diameter mount that allows you to attach various accessories to the light and also to mount the light itself. This system is very easy to work with and a lot of Z-mount accessories are already available, so this could be a user-friendly alternative to the usual Bowen system. The X100 is largely designed for content creators, which is why they adapted two standards that are very common among these users. Quarter-inch thread for mounting and USB-C for power and charging. Quarter-inch mount allows the users to use various tripods, table tripods or even selfie sticks to mount the light. My favorite way to mount this light is to use a compact Siri 5C tripod. That makes a night and day difference in comparison to using a conventional light stand. As I mentioned, a Bowen adapter is available, so you can use it with your accessories that you might already own. It allows you to mount the light to the usual light stands, which are some of my least favorite pieces of filmmaking equipment, and attach your Bowen's reflectors or softboxes to the light. 120 watt power adapter is included even in the standard package. It comes with a sufficiently long cable and it works well, but the best thing about it is that you don't need to use it at all. The X100 can be powered via USB-C connector on the bottom side of the main unit. If you want full power, you should use a power supply with at least 100 watt output. I have mainly been using it with Ugreen 140 watt GAN power supply and it worked perfectly. If you use it with a weaker power source, it will still work, but the brightness will be limited accordingly. Here you can compare the power supply solution that I have to use for my 100W LED power and the power supply solution that I use for 100W X100 light. Another option is to power the light using the battery or battery grip. This is a very impressive piece of gear by itself. You can power the light using this battery for about 30 minutes at 100% brightness, which is very solid. The battery grip can be charged through USB-C and it can also output 30 watts through USB-C, so you can use it as a power bank if you need to. It connects to the main unit using a proprietary connector on the side and it is secured in place by a latch, so the connection is very secure. The option to power X100 using the battery is, in my opinion, one of the main selling points of the system. It is included in combo and pro packages and, in my opinion, you will probably want to have it. The controls are very simple and easily accessible. There are two wheels on the side of the main unit. 
One controls the brightness in 1% increments or cycles between 0, 50 and 100% when you press it. The other wheel adjusts the color temperature in 100k increments. Pressing it down cycles between 2700, 5500 and 6500 k. There is also a power button on the main unit. The current settings can be seen on the small screen next to the fan. So how about the performance of this light? As I mentioned, it is a 100 watt COB light. It can output 3881 lux or 17317 lux with a small reflector. That should be enough to use it as a main light or even single light for content creators, which is its main purpose. As I mentioned, it offers variable light color temperature, which goes from very warm at 2700K to very cold at 6500K. X100 is rated for CRI95, which is a very high color accuracy level. Unfortunately, I am not able to measure that, but I was able to match it with white balance on my camera very easily, and I was able to get the look that I was looking for. The concentration of the light largely depends on the accessories. If you use the standard reflector, it will be very concentrated. The softbox will give you a very nice soft light suitable for interviews and a bit more natural appearance of the scene. If you want even softer light, you can use a light diffusion dome. That one will provide an extremely soft and pleasant light with plenty of intentional light spill. Overall, I am very happy with the output of this light. Much like any other COB light, it produces a lot of heat which needs to be dispersed. There is a very nice heatsink around the COB unit which allows the fan behind it to produce a very clean airflow. The fan is relatively large which is a good thing because it means that it runs pretty quietly. The fan speed is progressive and set very reasonably. It shouldn't be picked up by a microphone as long as it is, I would say about 1 meter from it, even on full power. Overall, big thumbs up for the cooling system. The light can also be fully controlled through the ZY Vega app. It allows you to remotely turn the light on and off, adjust the brightness and the color temperature. It worked great during my testing and I haven't had any reliability issues. An interesting feature is the option to match the color temperature of the light with the scene using the camera on your smartphone. You will also be able to use this app to update the firmware on your X100. If you own multiple X100 lights, you can link them together and synchronize the settings across them. Using multiple X100 lights could be a very interesting proposition. Zion offers separate extension brackets that you can use to mount two lights next to each other or even create a rectangular frame and create a setup with multiple units. Besides the X100, Zion has also introduced Molus G60 60W light. This is a bit different box-shaped light with different features. To sum up, Zion Molus X100 is a very modern and innovative take on a complex lighting solution for modern content creators. It takes a very solid COB light source and it puts it into a very compact, easy to use and connected package. It offers a lot of standout features. You can power it using a conventional USB-C power supply or even battery without any output restrictions. The cooling system is very silent thanks to a well-designed heatsink. ZY mount and quarter-inch threads are in my opinion more user-friendly alternative to the standard light mount and Bowen system. The controls including the ZY Vega app are very intuitive. The light itself is very well made including the accessories. As a non-expert user, I wasn't really able to find any disadvantages. Larger productions will probably need something more powerful, so I hope that Zion will release maybe a 300 watt version of this light. Considering the features that it offers, I would say that it is a pretty good value. As you can probably tell, I like this light a lot, which means that I can very highly recommend it. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate our feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.